Hi guys, welcome back here to another brand new Jigsaw video. You guys can see all the Jigsaws are pretty much gone. And we are going to start here a new one. We're going to start this puzzle right here. A thousand puzzle pieces with the wolf, the moon and the, the cubs here on the foreground. So that is what we're going to start next. I hope you guys can uh, see what I'm doing here. I got my camera here on the tripod. Let's uh, open her up. And I hope the puzzle is not going to be the way it is here on the, on the picture here from that way. I hope it's going to be that way. What is that in here? Found that here in the in the box. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna put it up there. Okay. So we're gonna have to do what first is. We're gonna have to sort out the pieces with the edges here. I'm gonna put them in here. Hope you guys can see there. So let's uh, sort out the edge pieces first on this brand new puzzle here. We're going to be doing here a 15 minute video. Um, I think I should get another I always like to use those guys here to put the extra pieces in there. So we're going to put the non edge pieces in the in here so that we don't get confused. Edge pieces go in here, and the non edge pieces go in the top. And when we have all the edge pieces here together, then we're going to put the non edge pieces here, yeah, back into the into this guy here. So 15 minute video to sort out some of the edge pieces and uh, this is going to be part one. And in part two we are going to put the edge pieces together. I'm going to take some of these apart because they don't fit anyway. Yeah, so sometimes you have to be really careful that you don't put um, edge pieces and non-edge pieces together in one box. Otherwise, when there's an edge piece missing, then... Uh, you're going to have to go through the non-edge pieces to find that one edge piece that you have by accidentally put it in together. So, yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. I've got that camera set up perfectly. With my new tripod that I recently bought over on eBay. For I think it was for ten ninety nine. Not sure. I uploaded a video on it. We got my other tripod that I bought a couple of years ago on a broke. I also made a a teardown video on it. Now this one, this puzzle here also has a thousand pieces. Then 
him in there and Eileen Schroeder. I don't know if that is that was the owner of this puzzle. I'm not sure. So we're gonna call this video part one. And in part two we we're gonna put the edge pieces together so it probably go up it will go up that way that way instead of going lengthwise it will probably go upright like that I'm currently uploading my Formula One race day video. I said I was going to do Formula One over the weekend, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. I did a video on that. I'm going to change out my my YouTube a little bit. I do Formula One races Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Practice days are going to be Fridays. Uh, qualifying races are going to be Saturdays and the race days are going to be Sundays just like in real life so I hope you guys are going to like it stay tuned for definitely, oh, see that that is what I mean. If you're picking up pieces and putting them in the round box, the edge pieces, put them in the round box, then you get all confused, and then you, you may have to do it again a second time just to make sure that you have the edge pieces in the right container. an edge piece and uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing later on in the week I have ordered an ice making machine I'll be doing my own ice cream with my ice making machine or ice machine I bought that for a fiver it's used plus, uh, plus the packaging which costed me at the end fourteen ninety nine because of the packaging. He had the ice cream machine on sale on eBay for for a fiver, and I think it's uh, six bucks for packaging. So five bucks for the ice machine and six bucks for the packaging will come up to eleven bucks. So I don't I don't know why. People who sell private items that they use, that they want packaging money. Not sure about that one. Why would anyone want to take packaging money when they sell things private? I mean, six bucks for packaging at the post. Yeah, there's a, a street piece that just landed in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to have to be really careful about that. Yeah. So that no edge pieces will land in here. Yeah, coming back to taking money for packaging. I think uh, six bucks is a little bit outrageous for. For a package that is not that big, yeah. I think if you if you have a, a problem with your computer, then the packaging that you have to have to pay is going to be even more expensive. Packaging these days is so or so expensive. 
that were a lot of people who sell private items online on eBay take a lot take a lot of money for packaging. I think back back in the days where people sold stuff over on Amazon or eBay, packaging wasn't uh, that expensive. I think if you had to go to the post office and uh, send somebody something, then uh, you would you would only have to pay like like three bucks for a packaged item, which wasn't really that expensive back in the days. But since the, the prices have gone up, packaging. Um, got even more expensive so if you buy an item new on eBay or Amazon or wherever then uh, I think the packaging is included in the price of the item if you buy the items used private then you would expect that the packaging price is going to be separate so they are gonna add the packaging price which goes separate onto the price of the item that you have bought from a private seller on eBay that is what happened to me when I bought that ice machine I had to pay the, the pa packaging price which is 6 euro separate he didn't that wasn't included in the in the price of the item itself so kind of a bummer if you're buying from private people that are taking the packaging money separate from the item Okay, we've got uh, three minutes left. Then we're gonna call this video done. And this video is gonna be upload uploaded here on Monday under the week. Like I said, other videos are going to be coming out under the week, like Farming Simulator, War Robots, uh, and Jigsaw uh, videos. I got a War Robots video coming up under the week. It's a test server gameplay video. War Robots test server. Did I just put a, a straight edge piece in here? No, I didn't. Okay. Here's another straight edge piece. Be really careful not to not to break the pieces when you're stuck together like that. They're kind of stuck together wrong. I don't know why people would do that. Stick the pieces wrongly together and then uh, when you take them apart, they're bound to break in some form or something. I don't know.
yeah we are 15 minutes into the video so that is gonna be it guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel watch the videos like the videos do all that good stuff guys and uh yeah we will see you guys in part two so thanks for watching you guys are awesome and we will see you guys here in part two bye bye